Here we go, Team Parrymaster versus Team Tom. First game of the day. Uh, did they pick PS1? <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong stage. <laughs> Great three stock start for Craig. Yep. That's how you want to start the crew battle off. I'm glad as a community, for the most part, we're over the PS1 versus PS2 debate use PS2. It's so much better. Alright. Let's see. Do you think Craig's going to play better or worse this week? <laughs> he also um, like Pikmans was suffering from the, the COVID uh -huh. last week while playing. Is he recovered now or? He says he's way better and he thinks he can do more than 32%. Alright, good. <laughs> I feel bad because, uh, I think, like, Craig and Pikmans both played last week, but they could have just asked to find some subs for them, you know? It's not like they we forced them, but, I don't yeah. know, they wanted they to would contribute. They were troopers, and that's, yeah. like, you gotta respect it. You gotta respect it. Oh, them. yeah, I respect it. I just, uh, man, it definitely affected both of their performances, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, Fabian said in the chat, the grind don't stop. <laughs> And right now, Craig, he's starting off pretty solid against one of Team Tomlet's, uh, kind of, like, key players. Yeah, uh, Frauded is struggling to find any way in. Right, Barely knows dodging. the Banjo matchup too well. Oh, does he plaque with a, practice with a Banjo? Before? No, I don't think he oh, plays okay. against any Banjos. <laughs> but I think with how often he likes to use, uh, Leiru's Love... <laughs> yeah, it just happens to work out, uh... Definitely. By nature. Ooh, the Ooh. double Wonder Wing! And with all the praise we give Craig, a fraud it finds the first stock. Yes, he does, with a clutch Wonder Wing. That's yeah. what you, like, you always gotta be mindful for when you're up against Banjos. I think, especially once Banjo is in, like, the 100% range, they can be a lot more loosey-goosey with their Wonder Wings. Because they know that stock is going to drop soon now. Exactly. They um, don't care how many times they burn the like the five cost. Yeah, exactly. So it, it, either way, they're going to just kind of run it out. So that way they make sure they get their money's worth um, on the stock at that point. Ooh, good weight on that item toss. Okay, oh, Frauded is taking field. control of this match now. He's almost taken a second stock without taking damage, really. Back throw, not gonna eat him off. Banjo is so heavy. Right, that's gonna be. A, oh, he didn't. I was, I was convinced it was gonna be a Wonder Wing on the stage. Grabs through the the Phantom. Oh my goodness! All of a sudden, this game is out of Craig's hands. Yeah. After such a good start, really starting to fall out of place here. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> they almost took a trip to the blast zone. <clears throat> Craig, Craig trying to get that upbeat kill. Kills. Yeah. Frauded is not giving him anything. I think right now Craig just kind of needs to focus on. Trying to find a way to like get Banjo stuck in shield because brought it, he's really like holding shield a lot, mm -hmm. and it's just what happens when you're a high percent. You want to hold shield because it gets you. That's how you just don't get hit and die. So he know like he's got to realize that he's got fraud in these situations where he's always going to be like shielding. So just get a grab. Oh. <sighs> All, All right, right he takes a stock. 
gonna get that stock. That's what you need if you are Craig right now. <sighs> Barely gets through that Wonder Wing. Oh, and drops the shield at the wrong moment. Strong start by Fraud there. Mm -hmm. Especially, like, a good comeback, too, to kind of, like, get back into form. Yeah, After it, how it that took first stock was starting to go, mm -hmm. he was getting a little worried. Yeah, it took him a little bit to get the adjustment, but he figured out the Zelda, the Zelda patterns eventually. So I'm trying to think who Team Perry Master might send in next. They got to deal with two stocks on a banjo. Hmm. Just looking at who is on their team. Uh, does Team uh, Perrymaster have any subs this week? Uh, Jeems might not be here, so they might have Fusion come in for him. We okay. we still don't know. They said that Jeems usually wakes up like right when they start playing, so we'll see. I but see. we put Fusion on the team just in case. Okay. Might. I think if I think Fabian it probably would be a pretty solid pick to throw in here. Yeah, if, if Fabian is in the chat right now, so it looks like he's going to go in next. Oh, that's hilarious! I got the I predicted it right. I was like, they might send in G, uh, J James, but I think they would kind of save J James to be like the number three pick. And so they can send in Fabian because that gives, um, like, that gives, um, Team Perry Master a solid chance of, like, getting rid of Fraud it while taking at least just, like, a minimum of, like, one stock loss for sure. But you might see two stocks get lost from Fabian. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they want to send J-Jeams out, like, to take two stocks just so he can get counterpicked by one of the stronger players. Exactly. Uh, Willikers, thanks for the follow. And they are sending in Fabian. I think sending in Snake here is a good, uh, good way to kind of, like, cool down Fraud its play. I think that'll be pretty ideal. I think we saw this matchup a few days, or like maybe last weekend, and I think this is really heavily snake favored, if I remember correctly. I could see it being like uh, definitely snake favored. I don't know if it'd be heavily skewed because snake sometimes struggles when he gets out camped. Yeah, that's true. Because like snake, as great as he is at um, camping people, um. He can, in fact, get out camped. Yeah, in, uh, in some cases. One of my favorite videos I've watched of Ultimate is a match between um, Ryuga and Kasev. And Ryuga, you know, playing Ike, is on PS2 and he never leaves the spawn platform. He's just standing there the whole time, like short hop nairing, and Kasev loses. Yep. And I was just like, wait, you just beat Snake by never, like, you just stay above him and never approach? Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of like what happens is like, as long as, as like, you're able to um, kind of like maneuver around like Snake's uh, projectiles, which kind of like only can go in like, uh, outside of like uh, Nikita, but like grenades, they can only go like forward and then yeah, forward, slightly up. up and an arc and forward but and then straight up yeah he yeah. doesn't have like very good angles to cover with the grenade that's true and so if you're not approaching to get hit by them uh it does make them a little harder to connect all right i, I can see this matchup 
Oh, Frauded also didn't drop his stock here, so just keep note of that. Yep. He only gets, uh, 10 Wonder Wings, not 15. Hey, what's up, RFX? Thank you for the subs. Holy. 13? This man just chilling money. What a homie. And Fabian, starting to bring it back a little bit. He had a little bit of like a slow start. Brought it was definitely a, a mounting like a big... Um, a big percent advantage. Yeah, a big percent win, but like it's a little rough because uh, you still just have to take this like second stock off of Brought it. And that's going to be really hard. Especially when he's got like the lead. Even though technically it doesn't happen. It's tied. It's tied. Yeah. Alright, and we are seeing what you were talking about where Frauded is just kind of out camping Fabian. And that is the, that's the name of the game. Oh! He didn't have faith the first F tilt would connect. That's always rough when uh, you're just like, oh shoot. <laughs> okay, cool. Frauded is going to go take a second stock. Perfect. All right, that works. <laughs> Ooh, nice little empty hop onto the platform. People, uh, people really never will expect a, uh, like the the tomahawk landing mm -hmm. onto the the platform, they'll expect it like on the ground. But like when it comes to being on a platform, nobody ever sees it. Yeah, like, nobody ever, ever tomahawks up to the platform. The Drew or Druish, not Druish, Druish came in on the other crew battle. That's why I thought. Ooh, the up tilt. I'm gonna say like. Both these characters have really reliable up tilt kills, and mm -hmm. both of them have setups into it up into the up tilt. And I was trying to figure out if Fraud was going to find a way to get a quick setup into an up tilt kill. Yeah, I've done some uh, practice matches with Fraud, and he's got like some very unique. Like uh, we saw him do the egg egg thing upward uh, earlier yeah. against Craig, and he's got a bunch of setups like that. I think on Town and City, he killed me at like sixty five percent once, where he like hit me up to the higher platforms with, like, five eggs in a row and then up-tilted me, and I was like, what? <laughs> You're just like, damn. I, I was not expecting this at all. <laughs> yep, trying to go for the forks, man. Just trying to get a quick, easy kill. And Frauda has five stocks taken already. He's he's going to get he's, his uh, yeah, he's, he's looking here. pretty good. He's looking pretty good. Now, Banjo getting eerily close to that up till percent range, so he's got to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, almost gets a C4. Oh, grenade that, saves that him grenade from the throw. Him. Yep. That grenade 100% saved him. guys just trying to find that just honestly both of them are looking for a grab mm -hmm. <laughs> a grab pretty much secures the win at this point oh fabian is not letting him have it baby's got to watch out for that seaboard it's getting really close to blowing up okay it's just oh gets Ooh. the nikita and man that was really close <laughs> <laughs> All right, but good stuff to keep Perry Master evening out the uh, the player loss, but still stock advantage to Team Tomlet where it's uh, five to three right now. Over on the other team, Druish and Saturn playing right now. Both of them came in with this match with three stocks because uh, Saturn kind of just instantly 
took the last stock from Mr. Monday really quick. It is very crazy to see the amount of uh, Psy Boys that exist in this crew series. <laughs> It really is, and there's even more, you know, that didn't sign up that play in SDD as well. So, there's there's a limitless potential of Cyboys playing Wi-Fi. <laughs> it's true. Now, who does Team Tomlet send in next after losing Fraud? In? up against the Snake, so they're trying to think of who can take a stock and get counterpicked the least hard here. Um, and there's no hawk, and they have Regrault, uh as a sub, right? Yeah, yeah, they got Reg coming, or they have Reg for a sub. Okay. They actually might send in Reg. Is either they send in Reg or they send in David. I think they're gonna use OT as their. <laughs> third slot that's kind of just how I look at the crew battle we'll see we'll see I mean I could go check the discord channel I could stop trying to talk out of my ass <laughs> <laughs> They're probably trying to save Rick Ralt for like spot four then. Druish over Saturn. No Lucas. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. Sometimes Lucas is just not the character you want to fight that day. He could be not fun. Okay, yeah, we're getting David in. <laughs> Mastergrass with the uh, Ness gang in the chat. Two stocks real quick. I will get into this. I think uh, David has a pretty good chance of just kind of like making it out of this match right here, kind of like unscathed. You mean David? David making David, it out I, unscathed? David, David, David. I was just thinking, like, did Ori just suggest Fabian is about to three stock David? That that's <laughs> a bold claim. Oh my god! If that actually happens, I will laugh my ass off <laughs> so, i mean pro if fabian did that that would be the wildest moment of the weekend i'm sure <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting right into this and just start off kind of i think like business as usual oh my gosh oh, almost got it david's mad that i uh had that slight blunder
Ooh, and he might. Okay. Ooh, he does get the PK freeze. Goes for a second one, barely misses it. Okay. Oh, the up smash hit him from like behind Snake. There must have been some uh, crazy hitbox extension. Or hurtbox extension. Oh, he let go of his shield at the wrong time. Okay. And he gets PK, PK freeze. That is it. Getting PK freezed is sometimes one of the like biggest feels bad man moments. Because <laughs> you're just like you just watch yourself drift off into the sunset. Yep. Dying. Oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it on stream yet, but Quark is our secondary stream today instead of Pinoy Night. I'm gonna get the link to Quark's stream in the chat right now. Let's see if Nightbot bans me. Because <laughs> I have a multi-twitch. Oh I yeah, it, it banned you. <laughs> if you DM'd it to me on Discord, I'll post it. R.I.P. Ori. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, this is gonna, this is gonna happen. Oh yeah. I posted it. Yeah, got it, got it. And here's the multi twitch link if you want to get both of them running on your same screen. Um, but yeah, Pinoy Knight couldn't play today or couldn't stream today, so Cork is subbing in to do it. And we got the schedule, so Cork's two games are back to back, and then he's just gonna stream the other two games after that for us very thankful to court for helping us out making sure we don't have to run this it is like a seven hour event like we did the first time <laughs> we learned our lesson that day yep yeah i think the only thing i have to allow nightbot like links right now is twitch clips i think that's the only thing that anyone else is allowed to post speaking of which i gotta get my twitch clipper open looks like Yeah, Moses is a Samus player. He's a little bit better than me. Usually goes like 2 2 when he signs up for SDD. Okay. Uh, pretty fair for like a fourth round pick. But, yeah. uh. Who are, I wonder, who are they uh, subbing in for? Uh, they're subbing in for question mark. Got it. And then Rod must have subbed in for Sketch. Okay, and we are getting fusion in, which means Jeems is not here. <clears throat> uh, these two have played a couple of first to fives on fusion stream. And I think David has won them, but they always go, they always are pretty close. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty evenly matched, I'd say.
<laughs> he changed his name probably because we were just talking about it. <laughs> Wi-Fi <and> Ness. <laughs> <laughs> is in the building. Haven't seen him compete at uh, Shell Shocks in a few weeks. Uh, so it's good. It'll be nice to see his Min Min come back and play today. Yeah, usually he works Saturdays, which is why he wasn't able to sign up for DCS in general. Um, but he's got this Saturday off for some reason, so... And thankfully he's here. He's uh, not... I don't know if there's anybody besides Quirk that's on Jeems' level, um, as far as Wi-Fi players that I've seen in our region. Uh, but I think Fusion is a suitable replacement for Jeems. I, yeah, I think, uh, when you think of just, like, the available talent, uh, I think, uh, Fusion definitely is, like, the next best choice. Yeah. Because <laughs> I definitely think, like, Fusion, if he was competing at this, if he given like he wouldn't have maybe he probably could have been a captain. But if he wasn't a captain, he definitely would have been a round one. Oh, for sure. Uh, Perry Master asked me like where was Fusion? I would have picked him first. <laughs> <laughs> so Okay, Fusion building up a bit of a lead here. Ooh, that up smash not gonna do it. That's the one thing you have to uh, be really careful when you're landing on Min Min. She will very much, if you, if you land on her unsafely on shield, she is going to try and hit you with that up smash out of shield. Yeah, so uh, quick. it's frame 9, I think. A little slower than Fox's, if I remember correctly, but still I just as uh, uh, devastating. Out of shield, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How's it? How's it told me he's too busy today? How did he he just turned on his switch? Alright, I'm I'm messaging this guy. <laughs> hey, hey buddy, uh not gonna be able to help you with the TO stuff, but uh I'll be playing some quick play, don't mind me. <laughs> he's gotta prep for being a substitute at uh four o'clock. Yeah, bro. <laughs> maybe. Okay, things are looking really good for Fusion so far. Yeah, he, the, he's creating some oh, the fantastic people. level spacing here. I <gasps> cursed him immediately. You hate to see it. <laughs> oh, he takes another stock, though. Yeah. It's a really good like position to be in if you're Fusion, right? gotten two stocks down and you're sitting really healthy on your second stock right now and you get to just kind of like play the patient zony arm heavy game mm -hmm. because the only thing that i think could possibly like hit fusion at, or hit yeah hit fusion at this point is just a uh like a pk fire yeah those stray pk fires um oh okay and we've seen that, like, both of them just standing on opposite sides of the stage, kind of, shooting their arms and projectiles at each other. I really oh! That was a really good parry into, like, a like backwards board smash. Oh, the dragon arm! Going to get it. And RFX taking three stacks while only dropping one. That is what you want to see. And then on the other stream... Jurush managed to almost take three stocks off of Moe's with his one stock. Oh, man. Moe's got a clutch charge shot right at the end to seal the deal. Whew. All right, and while we're waiting, I'm going to blast you guys with a 60-second ad break uh, because I'm confident the next player is not coming in yet, and I just recently learned I can play ads on my stream. Um, <laughs> Let's go, ad break. So uh, have fun with that. You yeah, can watch Quark stream while it's going on. OK. 
Okay, it looks like Tom is going to come in next. <laughs> Everybody in the chat, ad hype, ad break. Ads. Except the people who are probably sub don't see the ads. Yeah. And they just hear us talking. Yep, they just hear us sitting <laughs> here, having a nice friendly conversation. They get the behind the scenes content. Behind the scenes. Yeah, Master Grass, that's, that's right, because you're one of the loyal ones. You've already given me the money for the week. You don't have to watch the Taco Bell ads. And welcome back, everybody. As I predicted, we are still waiting for the next player to come in. Oh, maybe it's Reg. Okay. <laughs> they did a little bit of a fake out. Tom, Tom asked for the stage list, and then Reg is the one coming in. Dirty tricks. Dirty tricks by Team Tom over there. Hype play coming on my last side. Yeah, yeah, I got a clip of that one. This one is just a, uh... Okay, Reg versus Fusion. This is a very bad matchup for Min Min from what I've heard from Fusion. So, we'll see how, see if he can get a stock here. I love how Reg's name is Melee HD. <laughs> He doesn't. He didn't lose it. No, he did lose one stock. Yeah, he lost one stock. We'll we'll just keep track of it here on the stream. Uh, I'm definitely a lot more lenient on the uh, like subs not knowing how to do it or not remembering to. You know, yeah. I, I'm not as upset. <laughs> now I've heard. Oh, I, I've heard from like Tom that Reg has been on a tear at STD. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's top three every single time he signs up right now. He, like, the first week he signed up, he got fifth. And then he's either, you know, first, second, or third every other week. That's he's been going off. Yeah. At, uh, during Smash 4, Reg was at his peak number three in Michigan. It was nice. for one season. Um, but he had been, he had gotten ranked like a, like once or twice after that. And he, he was always like a very strong player for sure. So to see him now starting to kind of like find his, uh, footing with, uh, ultimate where Yoshi is so much better, mm -hmm. um, is crazy. Yeah, he, like, for me, he came out of nowhere. I just, like, I think he was unseated the week that he got fifth. I didn't, you know, I don't know him. I don't know the Smash 4 seed. And then all of a sudden, like, who's the heck is this Yoshi? Like, just <laughs> blowing everybody up. Exactly. Does Reg still play with the keyboard? I'm not sure. I, I didn't ask him. So his controller is the like GameCube controller is the giant keyboard. Yeah, yeah, I've I I've seen he him. Still does play it. Not not like an actual keyboard. It's like a GameCube controller on the sides and then a keyboard in the middle, and it sits like all the way across your lap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was for some game. It's um, like Xenosaga or something, I think. Yeah, it was like an I think an RTS game. Okay, Fusion does take a stock. Oh, that's big. <laughs> 
like Fusion definitely needed that because that is that's that's huge for like getting his team like set up because after him it's Perry Ma it's Perry Masters what last player oh uh, Perry Masters and player, Hiarta second, are left and it, giving those guys an advantage over a pesky Wi-Fi Yoshi definitely important to have. Ah, Fantasy Star Online. That's the game. Okay. I knew it was something Star Online. Fusion might take another one here. Reg struggling to find this killing hit. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, and we see the Megawatt come out. He's trying. He's just trying to get one more stop. He can Oh, he didn't get it! I'm very surprised that actually didn't kill. Oh, and that's it? That's it. Man, Fusion was so close to getting another one there. Wait, so what happened? I thought you told me that Druish took three to one against Moe's. Or did you what did he, you he almost it was two to one. He almost took three stocks to his one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Druish only had one stock at the beginning of the game. Correct. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, wait, Moe's is still in? <laughs> and also you told me those results and we played a whole game since then. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you, I don't know. Bowtie French tries in now, so. Bowtie French try probably, probably asleep had to go again. Finish up a oh match. my god. Parry Master. I'm trying to think, if your team Parry Master, I think you might actually have to bring in Parry right now. Like, you could use him as a. Uh, as the anchor, but it might yeah. be better to bring him in now to possibly like finish these last two stocks off of Reg and then try and just get as many as he can off of Tom. Yeah, the only the only other way is if you gamble that Hiarta can beat Reg and if they send in Tom, but they probably would send in OT at that point to finish off Hiarta. Um, the, like, the only clutch way is if they could somehow get Tom out so he can lock a character for Perry Master to counterpick, but I doubt that's gonna happen here. Time to make history from Persona. Okay. We got a channel point spend in the chat. Where's Persona? Stop. There it is. <laughs> Have you picked Persona music because he knows that I loathe Persona music? Persona music is some good music. Uh, I, I think, like, just because I've never played the Persona games myself, and then I hate Joker more than my entire everything else that's ever gone wrong in my life. Uh, so <laughs> I have a very negative association with Persona music because of it. Dude, honestly, that's how many people, like of you like bayonetta they mm -hmm. have so much like ptsd from smash 4 that they'll never give the series like it's like it's just desserts because uh -huh. it's such a phenomenal series great music it's very fun oh yeah it, i mean it's like uh oh, sexy devil may cry <laughs> 
Okay, they are sending in Perry Master here. I assume he'll go Terry because Terry is like the best general pick. Um, but we'll see. We shall see. Another gifted sub. Let's go, RFX. Ready? I think the whole... Everybody that's a sub to my channel, I think, is just because they've had one gifted from RFX. Except for, like, two people. And he does go with the Terry. Greg's pre-chat was, I'll grab you and I'll throw you. I, I like that one. <laughs> Ooh. A couple of nice connections there. Yeah. I'm very intrigued with the Kalos uh, counter pick here, actually. Yeah, I feel like this would be a Yoshi pick, but... Who knows? I, I think it's just because of how big this stage is. Like, how would you want to bring Yoshi who can just actually live can, forever? Yeah, he can live forever and, like, fly across the stage to get to you. So, like... Oh, the jab, jab, Buster Wolf. Not living forever against Buster Wolf. <laughs> oh, and both of them lose the stock here. Oh, power dunk the wrong direction. Okay, so Perry's goal here, definitely take the stock without losing his own. He, absolute necessity to keep the, the crew battle hopes alive. And like, he's getting to a point where he's getting close to having his go meter again. Um... So, as long as he's just able to keep tacking up some solid percent to the point where, like, immediately once he gets go, he could just fire out, like, a Buster Wolf or a Power Geyser. Uh-huh, and finish him off. Not gonna do it. Close. Go button active. Is that it? I think that's it. Yep. yep. And Perry successfully holds on to his stock. Only one behind now. Okay. <coughs> so much better with vocals. That's a controversial take, I feel like, Heavy, because I hate every song that has vocals in Smash Bros. It's, it's too distracting. There's like... You're hearing these voices in your head while you're playing the game, and it's like, no, 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 no. I just want, like, some background noise. <laughs> what do you mean? I love, I absolutely love Ashley's song. On the <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, fine. I, I guess I'm in the minority here. I just really don't like hearing vocals while I'm playing games, I guess. So, like, do you, do you not, like, listen to music while you're playing in tournament at all? Uh, no, I I do listen to music in tournaments sometimes, and that doesn't bother me, but I don't know. For some reason, like, vocals in, like, video game music is always weird to me. Oh, I agree, Fabian. You can't not have Snake Eater without vocals. Yeah, I mean, Snake Eater is unique because it's, like, made, like... From the game, it's made to be part of, like, a movie thing, you know? 
it's it's like a cutscene basically when the song shows up. So it doesn't feel as out of place for me. Oh, they do send Tom out. Okay. Leave and an o OT is the anchor. OT is the anchor. I guess that makes sense. You don't want to send... Like, OT has a better shot against Hyarta than she does against per Parrymaster. Exactly. So you want to try and save those stocks as much as you can. And Tom um, going with the Peach pick. That is really smart. I think Peach does so much work against the Shotos and Terry. It's just because she's, like, always, like, floating. Uh, they... A lot of, like, what the strength that the Shotos get comes from being, like, very grounded. Mm -hmm. And when Peach is just constantly floating, and uh, you just can't do that. You just don't get it. Yeah, you can't apply the same kind of pressure. Wow. Holy. He's, he's going up in the air trying to end him. <laughs> It's been a little bit since we've seen Tom bust out the Peach uh, at this. He's been focusing a lot more on PT recently. Yeah, uh, and I mean, Tom is just also one of those character er, players that just kind of hits the random button every once in a while, and you never know if you're going to get, like, his Mewtwo or ZSS or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and Perry evens up the stocks for the crew battle. Man, that connection's really nice. I, that's the second time he's gotten that, where he does, like, down tilt, F tilt, um, into crack shoot. I like that. A nice little quick 40% damage there. Uh, this is starting to get scary. Gotta yeah. Find a way to close this stock. Yeah, he's got the go button, and... Oh! There we go. Just taps him with that up there. The quick reading rainbow. Try to get something started. Ooh, the power dunk. Parry Master. Continuing to even up this crew battle. Yeah, the crew battle is evened up now completely. Oh, and he's getting these F forwarders. This last stock is getting out of Tom's hands. Uh, but he finally gets a grab. Like that, this is like getting uh, Terry into disadvantage. That's exactly like what Peach wants to be doing here because. Well, it's just you gotta get the Shotos are like a perfect like weight class for just incredible combo. Yeah, yeah, just comboing them forever. The top is struggling to find an opening. He's getting like he's getting stray hits, but nothing like monumental. Oh, he got hit by that again. That's the second time we've seen Tom block everything but the last hit of a jab jab <laughs> power down. Uh-oh. Oh, he doesn't go for the power dunk. That's it. Oh, he didn't go oh. for it again. What the heck? I was wondering why he decided to run through. <gasps> oh, no. This could be it. Oh, get smiling. Go button activated. Oh, oh my gosh. My. So close. Both these guys are just one big, like, one forward air, or, like, one just anything Terry's got for the most part, away from just, like, taking this stock. Oh, he does jump from ledge burn knuckle, and he gets it. Oh. oh. And Perry Master doing, doing team captain stuff. OT left against four stocks between Perry Master and Hiarta. Can she do it? The Obliterator. I believe in OT. We've seen her do some crazy stuff, so uh, it's not out not out of uh, the question here. But definitely very hard opponents.
and with that, uh, Perry is taking five stocks, putting him as the current MVP for his team. So, definitely sitting in a good spot. And then on the other crew battle, uh, Team Quark is, they just lost Bowtie French Fry, I believe, to Blown. So Blown is waiting on his next opponent. If Team Perrymaster wins this, they will continue their uh, their pattern of winning against the top tiers and losing against the bottom tiers, um, beating one of the first place teams. is like I don't know maybe she's in the other crew battles but she's just like who am I going against and what's the score and we tell her the score and she's like ugh and then <laughs> she's like who does Perry Master play and we tell her Terry and she's like disgusting and I was like you know this is the public chat right <laughs> stream and immediately i see uh Vlone get a down smash barry into fully charged forward smash Oof. feels bad man <laughs> Three, yeah yeah we saw him take 10 stocks last weekend um undoubtedly the best performance so far at std or at dcs Got one stock, or I'll take, or I'll take <laughs> ten subs. Dang, Perry's playing with Fusion's money. Oh my goodness, and he takes a quick first stock. Okay, OT trying to set up a zone of control here. I've seen Fusion do pretty good against uh, Perry's Terry with Robin, but they have a lot of practice together, so it can definitely just be a matchup knowledge thing. Gets it. 
I was thinking, like, she could get the kill because Robin has got some stuff. That was, uh, that was good by OT to recover there because after getting obliterated in that first stock, you know, not to get too nervous against a player like T Perry Master and take back control of the game. <laughs> Ganked. <laughs> So it's coming down to the last players for each of these crew battles. Yarta does have a one stock advantage heading into this last game. Oh man, on the other stream, Cal just clutched out a victory overblown with a very nice um, like back air uh, from like across the stage of Kalos. Oh, nice. Okay, like we flare blitz to recover. Got like that was like jumping back and just whipped the back air. <laughs> nice. Uh, so chat redeemed some points for me to talk about pizza. So uh, last night we had at my house we had Little Caesars, just the the classic. Grab some hot and ready's because we forgot that we didn't have enough room in our fridge to put anything else, so we couldn't cook dinner that night. Um. Yeah, and it I, it reminded me of my childhood. Every time I have Little Caesars, I'm like, oh yeah, this is what it tastes to be like eight years old and having a pizza party at school. Dude, Little C's <laughs> is, it's not like the best pizza in the world, but it's, it's very good. It's very good for its price. Like, for $5, it's not as bad as you would expect. Yeah. I think uh, when they added the like extra most bestest, that was goaded. Yeah, it's One yeah, of the best it's real good. They've ever made. Yep. I will gladly pay a dollar more to get double pep, double cheese. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree one hundred percent. I started getting the new slices and sticks combo there. Uh, I haven't seen it, but I'm sure it's good. It's only like a dollar more, so. Why not? Oh, is it like, do you get a hot and ready plus breadsticks for six bucks or something? Okay, he aren't they going with pit? That's me. Oh, I was expecting we fit actually. Yeah, he's been working on his pit a lot. Pit's pretty good. Yeah, like, pit's pretty good now that uh, they got those crazy quality of life buffs and mm -hmm. stuff. Like, I've seen, like, Daybreak play Dark Pit at Shellshock, and it's pretty good. It is Dark Pit's pretty good. It could be just Daybreak, but, like, Dark Pit looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got the Snake Eater music in. I noticed, chat, uh, when Tom came in, he picked a song with the lyrics, and now we're listening to Snake Eater. You guys, you guys are trolls. Filthy little trolls in the chat. <laughs> Both players just standing there looking at each other. Sounds like a match against Yarta. Gotta... He'll always just, uh... Stay at the... Stay far away from you staring at you. Whew. Barely missing with that now for too. Daybreak's pit is nasty. All right, I haven't seen it myself, but I I believe it. Trying to get something going. She managed to get the two frame with the elf, uh, with the arc fire. That's good. Ooh. Good down smash gets that stock. That down smash from uh, Robin is so good at kind of like covering ledge the, options, kind of like basic the basic ledge options of roll and neutral get up. Yep. Just because oh it hits goodness. behind Robin a little bit, but it's so much stronger in front of her. He um, already spent a good minute and a half at ledge from this matchup. Ooh. Sounds about right when you're fighting against uh, uh, Robin. But 
man. I, what took that stock there? Did he did stay back and it reflected a arc thunder? Okay, I was about to say, I'm like, didn't like. I was like, I saw uh, OT throw out a projectile, and I just didn't know what happened to make her blow up. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Man, that interaction is toxic. Pit, pit up be not, like, being able to latch to ledge while uh, Arcfire is there. I'm feeling free Arthur right now. And we get the last stock of the crew battle. Here we go. Anybody's game. But Hiarta needs to stay on stage. He's taking so much percent just by being at ledge. has come down to it the last stock for both of these crews who is going to take the w team top looking to keep padding up their first place That's why the arc fire? Arta, they're looking to play spoiler for sure Oh, it killed! And OT clutches it! She did the 4-3 to three run back, and OT wins it for Team Tom! Oh, man. What match? Yeah, we definitely saw uh, Robin just able to keep Pit at the ledge for 